Hey, welcome to the new year of thrifty business. What is going on, everybody? I'm your one host, the big kahuna himself, Jason T. Smith. And tonight I got my A team with me. I got my girls from Thanksgiving. We're back with a new year show. This might become a tradition of getting the whole team together for these kind of like holiday uh, theme shows. So sitting with me here live in the studio, my girl Friday, Kim Gordon. How are you, Kim? I'm good. How are you? I am dandy. Now, sitting uh, up in Sacramento is our girl, the sparkly unicorn, Robin Haas. How are you, Robin? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Then down a piece from Sacramento in Vacaville is our friend, Debbie. Well, maybe it's not Debbie Weeder. Who knows? Who is that? <laughs> Hello. And then in the frozen tundra, no, not Green Bay. I'm talking Cleveland. My uh, big mama, Peggy Smith. What's happening, Mom? Hi, everybody. Happy to... Well, we're freezing here in Ohio, sorry to say. Minus 20 wind chill factor coming in by tomorrow, and uh, probably about 18 inches of snow on the ground. So it's, it's bad. Oh, so 20, uh, uh, 20, 20 to 25 degrees in, in New Orleans next week might be pretty good. <laughs> oh, what? Here, and I'm heading to L.A. tomorrow where it's going to be like 76. So. Oh, nice. Very nice. <laughs> All right, so let's get right to it. Whoops, I'm on the wrong screen. Whoop. Cheers. All right, time for Jay's Tiki Talk. Each week, I drink a different rum out of a different mug. And tonight is no exception, but it's a little bit different. Uh, we have some leftover punch from the New Year's Eve party Ooh. we threw. So Kim and I are having some of that right now. <laughs> Ooh. And. Oh, look at the mug. I tried to make it up to the guests. So this was a Christmas gift from Robin to me. Oh, nice. And this was a gift from Debbie to me. And it's about to play a different role in the show in about two seconds. So ah. those were our mugs tonight. So let me, let's me let check in with Sacramento. What you drink in Sacramento? Um, well, oh, because I have I'm a lot of electronics. Light. Hey, hey, Vacaville, you're not in Sacramento. <laughs> Debbie, <laughs> Debbie's drunk already. We're two seconds into the show. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, just uh, just a, a Long Island, but it's it's really it's this big. I just put it in one of these just so I don't spill it because I have lots of stuff on my desk. Okay, Vacaville, what are you drinking? Obviously, a lot of my turn. Yes, just just a little <laughs> wine. It's uh, a little it's wine. Wine. It's something. <laughs> and and go ahead, Newberry. What are you drinking? Hey. Mom is doing a little den of sin tonight with some Sailor Jerry oh. and Diet Coke and a lime. Cheers. <laughs> nice. Cheers. Okay. So, uh, cheers, everybody. Yay. Cheers. Cheers. So, cheers. Debbie's actually going to be in Jay's Tiki Talk uh, segment this week. We're actually going to have a guest because, uh, Debbie, why are you in the segment this week? Because I sold some really awesome tiki mugs on eBay. Yes, you nice. did. And so, does this mug look familiar? <laughs> Kim happens to be drinking out of it. It sure does. I already said you're drinking out of a jungle bird. So, uh, what'd you pay and what'd it sell for? I paid 25 and sold it for 99 Nice. nice. So, that's one mug, but yet Debbie sold another tiki mug. And uh, how much did you pay for this Islander Hula Girl mug? We paid $3 at a garage sale around the corner from our house. And how, right. how long ago did you sell this, Deb? Uh, about a week ago, I think. Okay, are you ready for the student became the master? I can't wait. I sold the same <laughs> mug last week. You sold it for 60. I sold you it for sold 42. yours for 40? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yay. <laughs> ours. We saw your mug, so we just we put it higher and thought, what the heck? Can we get it? There, there you go. go. There you go. <laughs> Hey, I love Cheers. I love when people learn from the show, from the thrifty bar, from the secret beach, and I love when they surpass me. Uh, that makes me that, that that touches my heart very much. So, <laughs> you. So good job, Deb. Good job. All right, so let's kind of kick it off our score. So let's do it. Let's do it. Time for our scores yeah. of the week, where each of our co-host tonight will show you four things they've sold they're pretty much bolos be on the lookout these are the things you should find while you're out thrifting to make some money so starting first since she's already been part of this 
It's Debbie. That's back All right, Deb. Debbie. <laughs> oh, Debbie. I just can't see it. I have to bring it up. Sorry. Right. Oh, <laughs> this is one of my favorites of books at a library book sale for five dollars. And I was gonna put them the whole thing for like ninety nine. And Bill went through and was checking each book, and he said, this one alone is worth $59. Wow. And so we just sold it Damn. the other day. Wow. That's nice. Good job on your research assistant. Good job. Yep. Bill. Yes. Yes. And then these were really fun. I picked these up, um, I think, at a garage sale for like 2 bucks, And I had offers of $15 and $20. And I just kept countering with a higher price. And finally, they sold for my full asking price of $52. That's awesome. But I want to look at the one product rating because this product is a one-star rating. <laughs> Got the book but didn't get the cassette. So the person doesn't understand how ratings work. All right, dummy. Yeah, That's that wasn't mine. That's I not know, on no, me. I know, I know. Okay, this blew my mind. Wow. Well, this, this is awesome. Um, years ago, years ago, I bought a whole box of all this video game stuff at an estate sale. And we've sold about, I paid 25 and all through, you know, several, several sales, we've, we're about $700. So this was in there and we listed it a year ago and somebody on Bonanza offered us less money and I didn't take it. And I told Bill, we really should have taken that. And now the other day it sold for 50 bucks. So congrats on the sale, but let me point out something, my dear. Make sure to always double check your spelling. You uh -oh. spell Adam's family. It's two D's. Bill. <laughs> Bill. 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 <laughs> so much for your research assistant. So, so I know. But maybe the seventy nine had it been spelled correctly, Bill. <laughs> That's true, but it was it was listed for like a year, or so. Well, because no one can find oh. it. It's misspelled. <laughs> Well, people did find it. People made me lowball offers, but that's okay. Um, this is one of my favorites. I paid six bucks at the Goodwill. Mm -hmm. I can't even pronounce that. Is it Wathni? And Wathni? it's been setting in my inventory for like two years. I had to do a little bit of a repair job on it. And we finally got it out. And my amazing researcher guy, he decided to put that price on it. $149.99 and it sold within a week. Nice. nice. Wow. wow. Yeah. It's silk. Just awesome. Well done. All right, mom, you're up. Well, it looks like we're staying in the tiki mode here. That's for sure. Um, as a, a lot of you know, Cleveland has a, uh, a tiki bar and known as Porco's Lounge. And they had a first edition run of some mugs. And when Jason and I uh, stopped to have a cocktail the night they were flying out of Cleveland, uh, they had just gotten in a new shipment now of their second edition. And um, they, uh, they aren't cheap. They do... I have to buy them for 80 bucks, but uh, I had a sale going that week, you guys. And as you can see, I got $175 for that mug um, because nice. I, I think because par, uh, Porco's is kind of a, a, a more of a rare tiki bar, you know, and Cleveland doesn't have that many uh, mugs. So, you know, uh, but they're, they're a little fussy there. I mean, they don't like us selling them on eBay. I don't right, think. Next one. <laughs> okay. Um, I, bought my CPR, I bought my CPR Annie uh, at a garage sale, and I bought her for five bucks and oh. got a, a five you know, dollars. Wait, five dollars for five. <laughs> I know it wasn't a nickel. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you know, of course I shipped it FedEx Smart Post, and it did take a while because it was really slow through the holiday uh, time. But uh, 125 bucks for a five dollar investment was great. That's awesome. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Okay, these just sold, and I switched because I had another item up. But these are key core uh, uh, brass and leather cough, uh, coasters, you guys. And I, this was one of my twenty-five cent purchases, and I got the offer of forty bucks on it uh, uh, yesterday, actually. And uh, I said, "Oh yeah, sold." So you know, we have found that uh, the coasters and ashtrays from you know places of, of long gone really sell well so always always buy be it buy those things that are you know from the past people are always looking for nostalgia you know and of course our always uh, tv trays we finally uh, got a good offer those particular ones guys i purchased for 15 dollars oh wait and, you spent 15 shut up yeah we spent 15 on those and uh 
sold them for hundred thirty nine dollars. So you know, right, package. Well, you know, you know. Hang on a quick second. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, who's TV you? in my hair? It's got to go down. Bill, it's you're in Debbie. trouble. Turn your volume down. <laughs> Come yeah. on, Bill. We're trying to do a live show here, Bill. <laughs> he wants to first, be on the show first so First, you long. misspell words, then you got a TV on the background. Come on, Bill. <laughs> I didn't like you till today, Bill. <laughs> no, no, that's the show. He's, he's watching the show in the other room. Okay, oh. we, he's got to mute it. He can't. He's got to mute it. The audience is talking about the echo. Yep. Way to be on the show, Bill. All right. <laughs> okay, so my turn. Okay, so we're talking about streetwear. This is something you should pick up. And now, of course, it was sixty four ninety nine, but I had thirty percent off. So I still think you guys could probably get about fifty bucks for this. But this is really lightweight. It's like a, a tracksuit. Again, you guys. Again, Master Big Kahuna's taught us about showing those pockets. I'm telling you, that's what sells because you can't see the, the pockets on the dark navy. Mm. So, well done. and I put hip hop in it. I was, <laughs> all right. So I found this in a uh, crazy town for two bucks, two ninety nine, and the box was um, dented. So obviously an Amazon seller wouldn't be able to sell this. So I picked it up, took it, sold it for like 50 bucks plus shipping. I have shipping on all my, on my merch. So in a future episode mm -hmm. of 30 business, you will see a hilarious picture from crazy town today. <laughs> I, I was the turkey encounter for Kim. So oh no! Oh my! Oh nice! Future episode. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, there was shenanigans going on at Crazy Town today. Nice. Okay, so what? you guys, I've, I've stepped, I've stepped out of my box, and I've really honed in on the hats. So I'm really good on hats and baseball hats now. I don't know why. I just love it. It's easy to ship. I found this at a garage sale for two bucks on my way out of town of Vegas. This guy was selling this thing. I knew exactly what it was because as soon as I saw the Stetson, I was like, ooh. And the yep. only reason I knew it was vintage was because Mallory is like, uh, it's really hard to find. And it's a really great hat for uh, the whole, it's like, um, Indiana Jones kind of look yeah. so and it's a leather band and it was super clean except for in the front but I made note of that so the person and I talked and he's like I really want this and it's yours for 90 bucks nice nice and then of course again sealed games uh some do well some don't I find that trivial pursuits always do really well so I found this again in Vegas my second home hey get out of Vegas uh, all the good stuff here your scores we came from my town it was like uh, it was like 4.99 I think I was with Jason when I bought it um so yeah so I, and then I sold it for like 30 bucks plus shipping and this Yay. went uh, parcel post so yeah very nice all right, Kim. Oh, oh. What is happening? Oh. What? oh, what happened? Oh, no. I don't know what's going on. All right. All right, Kim, you're up. Okay. I bought these actually about six months ago at Urban Outfitters, and they were 99 cents. And cool. I, um, one gentleman, I, I bought six, and he bought five of them. So he obviously was having a New Year's party. <laughs> 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 they like um, ice cubes, and they uh, sell there all the time. But at the nice. end of the year, they have a sale. Nice. Yes. So, Someone awesome. threw one of mine on and put it in a cool place for New Year's Eve. I don't know who did it, but it looked really good. So Robin and I said, oh, did you? Okay. Well, then good job, you guys. Liar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always talking about my tins. Here's another tin um, that I bought, and it wasn't in great shape, um, but it went for $34. Oh. Nice. And it went back to where it was made in Thailand. Nice. So that's cool. Hmm. Oh, my grandpa made that. I need to yeah. buy it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't oh. start. Go what? ahead. You you sold. Go ahead. You sold a Pan Am Vacation Travel Bureau to uh, Hawaii and the Caribbean. I would have bought that. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't look at that's my nice. very well because they've been for sale for quite a while. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> I, got for, I got these for free. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> sale all right even better yeah yeah i bought a bunch of uh, a place by us has a bunch of brochures so they hand them out so i'll look for the next time all right very cool though okay this is my last one i think i might have priced this too low because it sold seconds after i listed it but it's a taylor swift tumbler and um i know it, it went really quick so i thought oh maybe i should have priced it higher what'd you but pay for it 
Um, nothing. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, good profit margin. Oh, yeah. Right. You know, my mother. Nothing. I didn't. I didn't steal. I don't. Yeah, I slipped it in my purse. <laughs> All right. I know this picture is tiny, but I used, I just used the catalog from eBay, and that's, they give you tiny pictures. I wish they would do better. But I wanted to show the power of some Christmas CDs. This is Buddy Emmons' Christmas wow. Sound for the Steel Guitar, wow. sold for $99.99. I think I paid uh, five bucks for it. So, uh, nice. for past Christmas, awesome. but if you are not hunting down weird Christmas stuff, you are not making good money. Uh, this was just a very normal uh, blue Brooks Brothers top coat. I paid seven bucks for it. I did have it for ninety, but I was running a thirty percent off sale, and someone made me an offer. And you know, hey, although it's the dead middle of winter, people are always looking for spring stuff. So when people are giving you decent offers on your winter stuff, keep it moving. You oh, know, yeah. plus, that takes up a lot of space. That was a bigger coat. Get it the hell out of here. And I found this at Sabres for uh, three ninety nine. It's a uh, Frank Costanza, the uh, the dad from uh, <laughs> uh, <Tenfeld. laughs> uh, kind of like a bobblehead, uh, but it's a Vinyl Idols, and I sold it for thirty five bucks. So that nice, was I love it. And I don't like to normally show two of the same thing, but I had to show this because I spent seventy on the next item, knowing that I would get at least double, and I almost hit double. Exa oh, I did hit double. I sold the CD yes. for one hundred and forty dollars. So nice. how many of you out wow. there would be ballsy enough to spend $70 on one CD? No, not me. Now, I when don't I was think so. cleared, I probably profited 55 Now, how many of you would turn down a $55 profit on one easy-to-ship item? No one. No, no mm -hmm. one. But you got to have the bank and the balls to spend 70 bucks. But I knew, I know my product, so I knew this is a gold disc, 24 karat gold. This is a really tricky one to find. And when I found it, I didn't even know it was that tricky until I did a quick little research at the thrift store and saw a good profit margin even at $70. So, you know, hey, I'll take a $55 pro $55 profit on one item. L That's why we listen to you, Jason. Hey, yeah. that's right. You've seen our scores. <laughs> Now it's time for our dub of the week. Do not let our mistakes be yours. Hey, giggles. Uh, the, the punch is getting to her. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, for a variety of reasons, Debbie, you are up. Okay. You know, this was a bolo that I used to look for years ago. I've never found one of these. Is it Clebon? anything before and I found three of these in a thrift store the other two weren't so good so I started with the best one and I only sold it for $12.99 so I was really bummed it sat I and that, sat I sold that mug twice Deb and yeah some of some of Cleveland stuff does well but man that mug is just not one of them and it's it's a nice mug if you're a fan of of yeah, the artist yeah. that'd be a great mug but yeah that one does not do well I won't even list the other two that I have Aww. and then my little pandas I got these at an estate sale for probably 50 cents and they had the box and everything and they they weren't listed that long but this lady kept <laughs> making really low ball offers and then she even told me hey you know everybody else she'd already bought two other pairs of these for like nine dollars each so I did some more research and I thought okay I'll let you have them for 12. <laughs> and hey look and the whole point of talking about duds is get them gone Whatever you yeah. have, to get them gone. All right, Ma. Okay, which we have first. Okay, this is a, uh, a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. Uh, we had bought a bunch of these shirts from a, a garage sale at one time and spent two bucks on all of them. But this one just sat and sat and sat. And uh, I finally took the, the offer of $4.50. I, I said, get it out of here. So for a $2 investment, <clears throat> that one was not worth my time and effort, needless to say. So that was not good. And then I really thought I would get better money here. Uh, I spent two dollars on this thermos, and you know, being the vintage Dick Tracy, and I had you know the keywords and all that good stuff. But it's at I've had that probably in my store for over two years, and uh, as you see, I sold that for a whopping five bucks. <laughs> at least you I get shipping. Six, yeah, I know. I mean, I, you know me; I don't, I don't do free shipping, and um, you know, glad to sell. But you know, I, I have about two, two more left of these suckers, so. Well, you know. here's what I would do, Ma. You have two more of these exact. No, 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 no. They're di they are different. Uh, because I'm pretty sure this is from the movie, so that's Warren Beatty. So that's kind of how I would have marketed it. Oh, that yeah, that could be too. You're right. Because it says Disney, and and Dick Tracy yeah. wasn't normally a Disney property, so I'm guessing the movie was done by Disney. I would have yeah. marketed it that way. So just a little. Yeah. Bit. Good point. Good point. 
could 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 have could have changed it around. All right, Robin, you're up. Oh, okay. So uh, this cost me nothing. This was free, and I thought for sure this was going to go really well, but no. Um, and then also found out no. that it had a a hole in it, and I guess it was missing. Um, a music thing, you know, cause I was moving things around in the bag. And so I, I made note of that too. And the lady who contacted me, I was like, yeah, it's yours. Take it for 17 bucks. Do it. I'm, I'm done. Do it. So, I mean, I still made a profit. I mean, I still made a profit, but okay. Okay. So everybody, this is not a dud in the sense of the hat. The hat is badass. The problem is this dork right here. <laughs> Forgot to look at the, you know, when on the hats where you have the air holes and they're embroidered, this one was missing the thread on one. And I did a total rookie move and didn't look at the air holes. And the dude that bought this, you know, contacted me and said, hey, I got to get this thing fixed, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I ended up just doing good customer service, refunding the whole thing and just letting him keep it because, it was Christmas time. He needed it quickly. And it's a bad hat has, you know, bad ass hat. And I just didn't feel like hassling it. So just make sure when you guys get the hats, check the what the thing in the back and all the air holes because I didn't funny, do it. Funny because when 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 everyone when all you guys are sending me your stuff and Kim was sitting there working at the desk, I said, How is this a dud? But now yeah. I understand. No. Now I fully understand. Yeah. All right, Kim, you're up. Uh. No. My little car. <laughs> <laughs> it's super cute. For forever. I thought they were so cute. See, it's one of those emotional buys. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, look at mm -hmm. cute little dinosaurs. Oh. And I couldn't sell them forever. I mean, it ended up selling for $12. So. What'd you pay? Do you remember? Uh, probably like 10 And then. Oh, jeez. You know, oh, my, my, oh, that's yes. a. There's a big ton of the yeah. week. <laughs> Oh, wait. Don't cry emotionally. Wait, actually, I think mine's worse oh, coming up. Oh, I, yeah, think, I think mine's I, I, actually thank worse. Goodness. And Zoobles. I don't know. I, I was on a Zoobles kick for a while, and they were selling, except for number 42. Number 42 doesn't sell, <laughs> just to let you know. And I, I was about ready just to give it away. <laughs> so it sold for $6.50. Woo! I, <laughs> <laughs> woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this year when we were at Ecom Chicago, Kim and Robin and I then went up to Milwaukee. It's a it's a, tri a trip I've done with my wife a couple of times, and Stacy couldn't come this time. And so if you remember the antique mall in the school, one of my mm -hmm. favorite antique malls in the whole country, I bought this a couple of years ago. I thought, well, come on, a vintage Pinocchio towel should be doing well. <laughs> Two years later, someone <laughs> off me $7. I'm like, goodbye. <laughs> Later, I don't want this no more. But yeah, I think I paid like nine, so that was a. Oh, and, I, yeah. Okay. Well, wait. Even worse. So regular oh, store oh. day on Black Friday, and how weird! All these things connect because you and I were shopping on uh -huh. store day. Uh -huh. So uh, Baby Groot was I like Guardians of the Galaxy movie. So I bought two of these to flip. They were thirty dollars each. I sold the first one finally for twenty two dollars. So I'm not doing too good at my duds. I'm going way backwards. I'm just backing up. <laughs> I'll just keep throwing money up on your That's why we talk about the duds. I thought this would be cute and it would sell, and I didn't do my due diligence and my research, and so I lost money. But here's how mine's even worse. As you can see, I still have one to sell. Crap. Yep. I spent $60. So far, I've gotten 22 back. Oh, well. Oh, oh. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Those are our scores and duds. Give me one quick second to uh, flip over. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know All what right. I was thinking, Jason, on that? Maybe you should uh, do what you teach everybody else. Maybe you should group it with another galaxy thing or well, something. I don't have anything else right now, so that's, you know. Yeah. Oh. Good Maybe idea. Now, right? No, no. no? Well, thank you. So, Kim don't know much about uh, superheroes, but if you don't know, the Guardians of the Galaxy are going to be in the next Avengers movie, which comes out in May. So, maybe I'll right. just, well done. <laughs> well done. Maybe I'll hold on to it and wait for that to happen. And keep my price right. Okay, so let's get back to our segments. Here we go. <laughs> Close the guards up, thrifty, kind, kind, kind. Would you approach this crazy man in the thrift store? I think not. <laughs> Funny enough, I like I his hat. That will yeah. this one very soon. That will creep you <laughs> the hell out even worse. But thrifty <laughs> encounters when you see funny, weird things happen in the thrift store. 
So uh, this week I'm doing the segment with Debbie and Debbie is gonna go first. <laughs> okay, first of all, I wanna say that this is a reenactment. <laughs> so, <laughs> a reenactment of the crime. I had a whole bunch of games, board games, and they were missing parts. And so I was gonna take all the parts out. Well, first of all, I took them to a thrift store and the guy said, we can't take open games. And so I thought, oh my God. What? Yeah, he said, no more open games. I think because maybe people don't buy them. Yeah. So I thought, fine, I'm going to take all the pieces out of all that huge stack and put one big lot on eBay of game parts. Robin, tell and those kids to shut the hell up. What kids? Are, are you hearing kids? <laughs> Not on my side. Robin lives at school. I just figured it was coming out of Robin. I, I don't hear it. Somewhere. It's not us. Not on my side. Uh, <laughs> don't hear it. Uh oh, the punch. Like Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Debbie. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Where was I? <laughs> so, sorry. I was going to make a big, huge lot of all the pieces and the instruction manuals and let somebody have fun with it and try to get some of my money back. So I was halfway through taking the, the parts out. And all of a sudden, I thought I should take these to Savers thrift store that's in our town. And so I put everything back. I was halfway doing through what I was doing, took it all back. So Bill and I load up and go to Savers. And this lady, you know, we're giving stuff. And then this lady, like I said, this is a reenactment. We really were at Savers. <laughs> so this lady comes up to me and she says, are you donating all those games to Savers? I said, yes, that's why I'm here. And she said, can I have them? And I looked at her and I said, they're missing pieces. And she said, but I give them to teens who don't have much. And they figure it out or they can play with them or whatever. So I said, sure, absolutely, you can take them. That was a win-win. And I was so happy because I was going to trash the board and recycle all the, the cardboard and try to get some money out of them. But, but I was very happy. So this is my friend, Sylvia. I asked her, would you please do a reenactment with Bill and I so we can kind of <laughs> show what this was like? And, okay, yeah. everyone hold on to your hats because the last picture of this reenactment oh, no. laughed so hard when it came in. Are you ready? <laughs> Bill's about to redeem himself right now. <laughs> 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 well, okay. mine is not elaborate, but it was so funny. I just a quick picture had to go on. You know, when you're thrifting a long time in the store, you might need a little break. You might need a nap in the couch under the shelf. <laughs> oh my god! And make sure you wear your, your medical mask too, because you don't want to catch any germs while you're napping on a nasty ass news couch. Oh god! There ain't no other story. Just I was walking by as my cart, and I'm like. She's napping. She is. What the napping. hell? <laughs> Ew! Hey, Brody. And I wonder if that coat's off hey, the rack. Take a coat. You know, you got to see where you're at. All right. <laughs> now it's time for um, our thrifty oh. tips of the week. Little tips and tricks that will teach you to help you out in the thrift store. This segment I'm doing with my mother. Okay. And my mother All right. up first. Hers is visual in her hand. Yeah. Well, I, here's something I did not do last year, but I decided to go out and do it this year. Uh, I went after sale Christmas shopping, you know, with all of the sales going. And I said, okay, I want to stock up for next year and do that. So uh, I headed to Walmart uh, here in town and um, I went right straight to their um, ugly sweaters. And they were, everything was 75% off, you guys. So I said, okay, I'm going to buy a few this year and, and hold on to them. I don't think I'll put them up right away. So I'm just going to give you a quick visual, everybody. Here, wait a minute, let me get this back up on the screen. Um, of, of what I found, that they were originally around 20 bucks. So, you know, I was getting them for 4 and $5. This is a really right. cute Wow. With, with the, this is more like a oh, concert. Yeah. Oh, my God, I would totally sport that. I would totally I sport that. Yeah, so that's a cutie. And... Uh, so I got that, and then if I, I know that the this uh, the, oh, the, the the sequins that go the opposite way, what? those are all oh that are cat gosh. lovers. Isn't that cute? So this you know the sequins go. You know how they they change the, yes. the, the edition. I can't get it up there really good. So I grabbed that one, and then 
I grabbed this one. I did double up on some of these, you guys. Oh, just that's awesome. oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? Wait, do you I get know. the extra nose too with it, Peggy? Yes, yes, did yes. You get, you all, get, oh my gosh, you get an extra yeah. nose. And and all of the sweaters have extra goodies on them, you know, with with their tags. So you know, like you know, they were down to seventeen ninety five less the seventy five percent off of that. So you know, I've been picking them up for around what four or five bucks, and then wow. I picked up these elf shoes. Which are really <laughs> I know, aren't they cute? And uh, these, uh, these, I, they, I cost. Uh, they spent three bucks on them. So, getting back to what I'm going to retail these four guys, I'll probably put the sweaters up for around thirty, thirty-five dollars because those are really cute. And uh, and the shoes, I'll probably go for around fifteen or twenty on the shoes. Um, the other thing that I picked up, they had a bunch of Hallmark ornaments. And um, oh, wow. yeah, these ended up costing me a buck a piece. Wow. So I got Cru Cruella and then uh, retail, she's picking up things for a dollar. I know, <laughs> I know. And the Justice League and uh, who's this guy from uh, Transformers, Transformers. So, you know, I picked those up for a buck and these are selling between 15 and 20 dollars right now. They I, I, I did do my research after I got back home and I said, whoa, I said, these are really, you know, uh, bringing in good prices even now you guys things are selling after christmas you know so you know don't i guess i should probably put them up and see what happens yet this week but so yeah. so my, my my tip is if you haven't done it go out sourcing after the holidays find the bargains they're out there there are tons of them i mean i remember seeing some of the posts you know on the thrifting board of people that had sourced from last year and were selling this year and they were making some very very good money so that would be my tip for you guys to go out and uh, source after the holidays Bill, yeah, get over to Walmart right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know the sweaters are great, aren't they? All right. Those are great. Love the sweaters. Yeah. Here's my tip. Uh, we all, None of us, probably, none of us thrift every section of the thrift store. Like, I ain't never in kids or whatever. But <laughs> you should walk up and down the aisles because you never know what's going to be in the wrong place. And I already had an example ready for this segment, and then we found one today. Like, crazy. So Did I was, really? I was, yeah, I was running errands a couple days ago, uh, actually probably before you guys all came in for the, my birthday and I felt the need to go to Savers and Tropicana because I felt a San Marcos blanket there. I just felt it in my bones. <laughs> the whisper. And so, yeah, <clears throat> I go to the blanket section. There's no San Marcos blanket. I'm like, well, I must've been wrong. So I bought a few other things and I walked over and I was walking up and down the vest section and look what's laying on the vest section. Someone had grabbed the San Marcos blanket and left it laying on the awesome. vest section for $7 and I'll flip that for 80 bucks. And then today we were at Crazy Town and I don't usually look in the shoe section, but that's where Kim was standing. So as I walked down on the top shelf, shelf of the shoes was a purse, uh, one of the no. few purses I know really well, the brands. This is Isabella Fiore. Wow. Nice. Oh, she does sparkles that Robin likes, but this one isn't sparkles. Uh, this was oh. this specific one sells for about 35 bucks, but it was sitting Ooh, up yeah. the shoes. So make sure you walk up and down every aisle just to see nice. what's in the wrong place. Great tip. Find a blanket so bad in the wild. I can't <laughs> so, look, look, the week before, I was with my wife and I said, I, I feel San Marcos. We went to a thrift store and there was one. Every time I feel one, there's one sitting there. I never. And what does that feel like, like, Jason? Does it? Feel like <laughs> it's crazy because today we were out with it uh, yesterday, uh, today, and I did, or yesterday and today, I didn't feel any and we didn't find any. I didn't feel it. See, it's so weird. And all right, all now it's time. <laughs> <laughs> you have got to be shipping me tips and tricks when you're shipping your items, good things to do, bad things not to do, things like that. So this segment I'm doing with, hey, my mom. Hey, mom. Hey. <laughs> well, here, here's what I wanted to cover again, everybody. I know uh, that I have talked a lot about FedEx Smart Post, but I just wanted to make everybody aware of a few of the changes uh, that are coming at us uh, this year. Um, for 2018, starting January 22nd, their prices have gone up. As, as you can see uh, on my picture, that's the new rate chart. You can go in and print it off online. We keep ours, you know, in the drawer all the time. So the prices have gone up, but not drastically. Here's the other thing uh, that we, again, did our homework. We have been making phone calls and researching uh, because there was some uh, posts in the in the thrifting board 
that uh, we weren't going to be able to ship FedEx Smart Post the way we have been. Well, that is incorrect. You oh, can still God. ship it just like we have been, you guys. If you stay within the 70 pound range and 130 in total inches, uh, FedEx Smart Post still does not need dimensions. You do not need to put your dimensions in. Please don't do okay. it. Put in the minimum amount, which is 641, and your package will ship. I can't tell you. I mean, I have shipped hundreds of packages <laughs> that way, you guys. Uh, they, they, I talk, I personally talked to a girl today at FedEx and she says, no, you do not need dimensions. Now, the new thing that's taking effect is if you go over the 70 pounds in the 130 inches, that's where this new money is going to take effect. And it's, it's a, it's a crazy way of having to figure it out. And you'll probably have to call FedEx to do it. Uh, Regan's got okay. the formula all written down, but it, that's only if you go over the standard uh, amounts. So we're still good to go on our, our regular way of doing our, our big items as long as we stay within the parameters of 641. Put that in. Don't don't think, well, I got to put in the 20 or I got to put in the 15. I'm telling you, no. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> oh. Listen to Peggy. She you knows. Don't have to. Listen, you guys. As I said, I've shipped hundreds of packages that way now. And everything is made it fine. And there's no returns. Uh, you know, FedEx isn't taking them, is sending them back to me. The girl today told me I do not need dimensions. That's only there because eBay puts it there. So there good, you go. Good tip. Peggy, I have, right. Can I ask a question about yeah. that? Mm -hmm. Bill was Bill was looking, and we put in our zip code, and Smart Post doesn't work here. My post office won't take it. So what would I do? Yeah, would I just you, find you, another? You won't take it. You have to take it to FedEx. But you can yeah. watch uh, Southern Pass their expiration date. We went over that many times. Yes, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right, you keep moving. Not, not, a lot of yeah, segments to get through. So, okay. yeah, not every po post office does take them. I am so lucky that mine does. So, if All they right, don't, uh, then uh, find the uh, We gotta keep moving. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I hate to cut my mom off, but we gotta keep moving. We that's gotta, fine. That's hey, fine. Hey, Secret Beach, don't forget we have a bonus show after this show. So, make sure to tune in. All right, I bought a bunch of tiki mugs from Creator Vix. They came in this box, and I'm like, they all fit in this box with padding. No padding. Look, oh my God. I'm a little shocked by this. Wow. Whoa. This is how they're shipped. There is Ooh. one piece of bubble. No! There's one piece of bubble on the bottom, and there was one on the top, and they're all good. So wow. I'm going to have to rethink some things. Wow. But I want to show you. I was shocked because uh, uh, Stacy and Kim were sitting here when I cut it yeah. open, and I'm like, this is going to be okay. Mm -hmm. I knew there were six mugs in there and other goodies, and they were fine. So. You know, people say, oh, FOMO won't work. We have to put in a box with bubble wrap and peanuts. Well, our mail 150 years ago came by a horse and a dude. So things change. And you figure out different <laughs> ways to do things. So don't ever rest on what you did 20 years ago, 30 years ago. If you can figure out a better mousetrap, do it. Trader Vix did, apparently. Right. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to emulate that. So that's what I want to uh, let you know. Okay. Now it's time for... Our eBay tips of the week, and that is me and Kim here today. So we actually have a little bit of a live demonstration on both our tips today. Yay. That's you. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, okay. Um, okay. And so, a hush fell over the crowd. Okay. <laughs> so it came to our attention when Robin was here. Robin, when you, you were doing your sale and you were going through each item one at a time to put it on sale, that you can select yes. all your items in your store and figure out what you want to mark them down for and then go into the seller hub and create your sale event and then you can have there'll be a choice um to pick your items or really ebay you're gonna be slow <laughs> right this second are you kidding me right now <laughs> what it must be me ebay you suck right this second like well when you get to this section <laughs> Jesus, are you kidding me <laughs> you create a sale event <laughs> Um, <laughs> you, for yelling at us. you can either pick all um you can pick out your items or you can pick all your items in your store to put on sale if you're going to do a, your entire store um robin was doing right. one at a time when we went no, no no you can put the whole store on sale with one click so, wow that is crazy it was i am awesome. sorry everyone that it won't go through like it's hard to show visual when it won't go through sorry can, can i ask a question on that yes, yes. 
Okay, what if you want to put just certain sections of your store on sale? You can do that as well. Okay, because I haven't done that. I haven't tried that yet. Yeah. Yes, you can we, do we, that as well. We we okay. can do that on uh, some past your expiration date, Ma. All right. All right. I would so like to do let's that. see how eBay does on this part, because my tip is. Oh, no. <laughs> eBay. In the growth <laughs> section, it gives you uh, indications on things you should fix. To qualify for top rated plus, oh, yeah. fix four of my listings. And to revise underperforming listings, there's 20 listings that I should probably change the price on based on eBay's telling me so. Oh, that works fine. She jerks. <laughs> <laughs> so it's telling me this Sailor Jerry uh, t-shirt I have for $22. Uh, it um, is telling me the price less the competitors, how many days has been unsold. So for instance, this book, I've had 546 days unsold. This next book is wow. 756 <laughs> days unsold. So I probably <laughs> should edit those. Two years unsold tells me I should probably do something besides just let it sit there. I'm all for yeah. let it go. But there's a point where let it go is like, holy shit, let's do something. Let's go back to yours. Yeah, and then you, and you can do the um, – Nothing. But on that analyzing, you can also – which is really cool. Underneath that drop down, not only can you analyze it, but it actually will tell you – uh, if you analyze it, sometimes it'll tell you what your competitors, your top competitors are selling it at. So then you can just change it right away. Mm -hmm. I yeah, love so that. I'm going to see William's DVD box that I've had for 608 days. So that's been sitting there for two years. <laughs> so it's showing me the things that I should probably do something about. So definitely use the growth section Very of your solid. seller hub to find out where you are really drop the ball. And, oh, still spinning. We'll keep this open <laughs> all it night. We'll see if it ever stops spinning, <laughs> oh, shall we? I think it's because you have a lot of um. Are you over a thousand? Oh, it's because it's mine. No, because the next thing I clicked on eBay. All right, let's wow. do it. It is time for. Hey, trendy bows. What's hot? What's going on right now that are selling? And trendy bows is Robin and I tonight. So Robin, you are up first. <laughs> okay, you guys. Look at this. I'm selling chinos Same on thing. eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I got a little inside tip from my people up in Portland. They emailed me or, or they messaged me saying, hey, Robin, people up in Oregon and Washington can't get these things. Can you get them in your town? And I said, yeah. So I got some. So I got them for two for five at my, my local supermarket. And then I sold. I bought like six, six, uh, six packs. I mean, uh, six cases. <clears throat> no, no, oh. no. No, 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 because I was like, let me test this out. Sounds so I like sold three two syllables. What are we going and for? I was like, uh, la, la, la. Yeah. So I sold two automatic, like really quickly on OfferUp uh, or on Facebook Marketplace, excuse me. And then I sold one on OfferUp and then I sold two on eBay. Yay. So, yeah. So nice. the trick was I had to sell them like lots of two. So, you know, with Bolos, this is the same thing like with Prongles. You got to hit it fast because these things, once Amazon gets the little, you know, then it gets to the point where you can't sell them on eBay. So I have two lots left that I have a feeling I'm probably not either going to sell. But the good thing is Jim and I kind of like these things. So <laughs> you know, when Hostess went out of business, everyone was buying cupcakes. Yep. Yes. To flip, and I was doing good flipping them. And then I forgot a box of them. So Aww. like six months later, I'm cleaning my shelves. I'm like, oh, what's this in the <laughs> box? Oh, it's Hostess stuff. Should I sell them? Nope. Daily snacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're always good. <laughs> All right. So just so, that's the tip. So what's trendy right now? Star Wars. Ooh. So I sold this uh, Chewbacca shirt for 19 bucks this month. And nice. This uh, Boba Fett Hawaiian shirt uh, for 46. Now, that is nice. this, this was given to me as a gift. If you're wow. watching Gift Giver, it did not fit me. My wife will attest to that. So I did not sell a gift just to sell it. It, even though it was a double X, yeah, that was the fakest double X I've ever put on in my life. It was like, <laughs> bad guy in a little Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> so I sold it, but here, here's what's happening. Star Wars just became the highest grossing movie of the year last year. Oh, yeah. It's already done 500 million domestically. It's done a oh. billion internationally. It hasn't even opened in China yet. But what comes out wow. in four and a half short months? That's right. The Han Solo movie. So wow. it will stay hot. So keep your Star Wars stuff going. Now, if there's tons of Star Wars stuff, try and pick out the stuff that's better than the rest. Okay? Yeah. 
So that's what's trendy right now because we have this bonus of one movie and then one movie five months later. That's kind of rare. So yeah. it'll keep on trucking. Okay, now it is time for... <laughs> <laughs> Poor Stacy. Get <laughs> outside your comfort zone. What you've got to get outside your comfort zone to make money. You should conquer your niche and then get outside your comfort zone. And this yes. will be uh, Kim and I. And so we went out shopping together and bought each other's comfort uh, uh, niches. Niches. Yeah. Uh, here's yours. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Look at this. That is cool. Very cool. So I had no clue what this was. Not a clue. <laughs> I knew it was an asteroid. <laughs> And I knew that had something to do with Trader Vix and Tiki. But Hinky Dinks? Not a clue. So he told me. <laughs> well done to pay attention to the webinars on Secret Beach, Kim. I know. I, I know. <laughs> I'm going to rewatch. Re so Hinky Dinks was the original name, and then they traded to Trader Vix. So this was a 50 year anniversary of Hinky Dinks. So we found that for uh, $8.50. $8. $8. $8. And no one had any up, so I said, "Hey, Kim, grab that. Get it for put it for forty bucks. You probably sell it for about thirty. So nice. You know, she was Very going nice. off of Tiki, and I wanted to buy some dresses. But funny <laughs> enough, I already planned this segment out that I was going to buy dresses because Kim is very much a girly girl, knows her dresses, and Ooh. Kim, Robin, and I nice. were in the dress section. So, <laughs> but, but right before I got to buy dresses, I sold a Vince Camuto, like little Ooh. like a blouse. And I bought, nice. uh, I bought that it is awesome. Vince for sixty-seven cents, and I sold for twenty. Oh. I got positive feedback today. So this is way wow. outside my comfort zone. Girly clothes. Good job. Like nice, very and nice. Look, I can buy and sell the hell out of moo's, but that's where my <laughs> that's where it ends. So, <laughs> the dress hmm. section uh kim explained to me that this would probably be a good little easy flip called boston proper so i have got it right here very kind of Cute. normal the navy blue and the white is it is it good for me are you like that it's pretty so i listened to it today <laughs> and, and when you go outside your comfort zone you got to have a friend who knows stuff so i have my friend who knows dresses because probably wears a couple so I, okay. I, I asked for words, and then I helped her with words on the Trader Vix, And then nice. and she actually helped me with this dress, and then I found this dress all by myself. Betsy Ooh, Johnson. Oh, Betsy Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> so here's a kick-ass Betsy Johnson dress. It's lace. It's floral. Uh, it's size 12. In case anyone's interested, it is for sale, as you can see, in my store. And I took a bunch of pictures, and then I said, oh, should I have done this picture? So Kim's like, oh, I'll do that picture. But when you do, I'll go outside your comfort zone and sit over there, please. Mm -hmm. Make sure you check with your friends. Like if you're doing Tiki stuff, check with me to help you with the right keywords, doing the right things. Because when you're outside your comfort zone, you're like, huh? what's asymmetrical? What's scoop neck? I don't have, <laughs> hell, I don't know. I can sell moo-moos all day, but that's it. That's it. So <laughs> I, uh, and I remember that. You were so excited when you were like, will this sell? Betsy, <laughs> Joy. I was like, hell to the yes. All right, let's, <laughs> let's, let's go back to Kim's uh, eBay tip. Oh, still spinning. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> All right, now it's time for the good, the red, the ugly, because we know ugly sells. And actually, this is me and Robin. I usually let the guests go first. I'm going to go first because Robin's is effing epic. So, Ooh, can't wait. Oh, shoot. Ah. There we go. All right, so. Mine is an ugly psychedelic mushroom house dress. Now it didn't sell for a lot, God. but it was three ninety nine, and I knew like people love this kind of stuff, and so I knew that I'm definitely picking this up. Here's a little bit of a close up of the print. Yeah, hello seventies. We're gonna take some magic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now my ugly sold for twenty one. That's a two and a one. All right, Robin's ugly did a smidge better. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Twenty one dollars. Curse of oh, Lord. Oh, oh, what? What? Oh, no. Wow. I can't it They're close. 21, 1400. They're close. You didn't tell me. Didn't so tell this me is because of the what the thrifting board. Wow. Yes. Yes. Wow. So. Kim and I were talking when we were thrifting with Jay in 
where where were we? We were in Potunk somewhere, and we were in this antique mall. And I was like, you know what, Kim? I got this really cool cape thingy. Can you look at it and tell me like if I'm missing something or whatever? And she's like, who is it? And I was like, oh, you know, Bonnie Cash. And she's like, what? So I showed it, and she had some keywords, so I changed it up in it bum 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 oh my you guys as soon as i changed some of my words boom 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 out of the out of the woodwork i had all kinds of things oh and the other thing that you see see i'm like pointing at my computer like you can see right underneath it there's an extra thing you know like when you do your your keywords and then there's an extra area where you can pay like a dollar more mm -hmm. to put it you put it in this specific subtitle is what that's called thank you subtitle it was going to come. So Mod Hippie Disco. So I called my people at eBay that I have a little in with, and they, they helped me put this in my second thing. So yes, she also gave me, Kim, Kim I'm talking about, gave me the keyword of cloak. And I'm telling you, pin up and cloak, change the word. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That is great. Look at Fantastic, that. Fantastic, you know, I personally would totally kill that. I would crush that. I would wear that all yes, day long. How would you come but, up with that price? Uh, because oh, it's a hot seller. Right yeah, on. and it's a six and and it's it came designer. from uh it came from a, a boutique in Monterey, which is no longer in, you know happening. So yeah, I, I had to do a little bit of research, but there were some people in the thrifting board who just rock and they gave me all this information. And it, mind you, this was like, oh my gosh. I, I don't know how long I've had that. I think Jim will probably tell you like two years, maybe almost two years. And what so did just, you say, Robin? Just again. What did you pay? I paid ten dollars. Oh my ten dollars. Oh, oh, yeah. so Peggy prices. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I sold it. All right. So let's, again, let's go back to like Kim oh, oh, yeah. oh dear. All right. The circle right. of death. Before we get to like the topic of the show, and we only got about eight minutes left, but we're going to go through kind of quick. It's just our goals, not our resolutions. Our goals for the new year, one personal, one professional. Yeah. But before we got next week's show schedule, this is kind of a doozy. If you've been following 30 Business for a while, you know who Eric Nash is. Eric Nash works for Stamps.com. He's also a skateboarder. Been around for a long wow. time. Uh, 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 Dogtown, he was a part of that. But uh, he was telling me, that Stamps has come up with a guaranteed delivery, just like eBay has. Ah. And if it doesn't get there, they will take care of it. So wow. You what? Want to, so you're all, right now, you're all heads are exploding because this ain't anywhere. So this is the exclusive on Thrifty Business. Stamps is entering the game to guarantee delivery. So you want to tell awesome. your friends, you want to tune in next Thursday. Uh, yeah. We're going to drop into the live chat and, and Eric can tell us about how they're guaranteed delivery is going to work. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited. What I've been talking about for a month already. It's pretty bitching. So next Thursday, 9 p.m. East Coast, 6 p.m. West Coast. And right before we do our goals, don't forget, Secret Beach members, those of you watching right now, whoop, we got a bonus <laughs> right after this. All five of us will answer any questions about our business. So make sure that you move to the Secret Beach link right after the show is over. And we will talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. All right? Susan, yes. Yay. It is as in coach. Yes. Same Bonnie I'm, Cash. I'm oh. still in awe that Eric is a skateboarder. He's such a quiet well, guy. And, and Eric is like <laughs> our age. And this is this is a kind of a current photo. Eric ah. still drops in. Uh, his wife don't like it so much because, you know, as you get older, <laughs> you get longer. But Eric Things still break. And he skates and, you know, keeps him young. Wow. Keeps him young. Yeah. That's right. awesome. So now we're going to talk about our goals in the last uh, six minutes here. Our 2018 goals for the thrifting board. Uh, one personal and one professional goal from each of us. And I recommend all of you get some goals, write them down, stick them up, and look at them every single day of your life. And we're going to go in yes. the same order. So, Debbie, you are up first. I want to lose weight. I'm, I started <laughs> I started the keto diet thing, whatever, but I know I can't do it hardcore because I like apples and I like, you know, some of the other stuff that's on there. But I've already started, and I think I've lost three pounds. Good job. Good job. Well, all right, Debbie. Yay! But we're getting we're getting ready to go on a cruise, and it's all you can eat food. So what am I going to do? Well, <laughs> You're going to enjoy. <laughs> we're going to play hard on the beach. We're going to exercise in the days on the ship. So, yes. you know, join us. We're going to do morning walks on the on the uh, on the running. Oh, day. Yeah. So mom will be there. That's, that's all coming. Mm -hmm. And then my other my business goal is to at least three times our sales. 
Um, because nice, I've been, Debbie. I've been, Good job. I've been selling on eBay for a long time, but my long sales time. are just not that great, really. And I just decided I need to treat this like a real business. I work from nine to five or nine to two or whatever and really work hard. And I am determined to triple our sales. Yay. Good job, girl. Like Yay. Good. Woo okay, mom, you're next. Okay, what do you want me to start with? Which one first? Does it make any difference? <laughs> oh, this is, your, this is your exercise, lose weight. Okay. All right. Well, this might be my personal goal. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right along there with Deb. I did start Weight Watchers uh, back in September and to date now I have lost 15 pounds. So I'm, really, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I saw that cruise coming. <laughs> I, said, I, I, I have to have a little incentive. So I got two more weeks to see what else we can do here because it, it's right. You're going to want to eat on the ship. Don't, don't, you know, keep it away from yourself. Still enjoy yourself. Uh, but besides doing that, my other personal goal is uh, continuing to help everyone that I can with their business on eBay. I mean, I guess I've contributed more than I realize over this past year. And yeah. when I see all of the uh, the fabulous stories from everybody of selling water skis or big games or, you know, whatever, whatever. It, it just it touches mom's heart that I can't believe that in this short period of time that I've been doing this, that I'm able to help others. So I want to continue to do that. We love you, awesome. Peggy. Ah, thanks. I love you guys. You know that. And then on my business goal, <laughs> my inventory death piles are, as you can see, horrendous. <laughs> That's some not horrendous. Boxes, yeah. Well, some of those boxes have been there for mm -hmm. two years plus, you guys. I have not touched them. I'm sure some of the stuff is outdated and probably not even worth the money. So I want to clear that out. Go to his before. brother's t-shirts. What? <laughs> <laughs> before my garage sale season starts back up. So I've got the rest of these winter months to try and get through my death piles. So that's I'll my, bet, my goal I'll bet there. you find some have increased in value because that's what we're finding with our death piles. They, they, they probably have some gems in there. Increase and things that <laughs> increase. Every death pile. I yeah. guarantee you. Yeah. Death yeah. pile. So that, I got to get rid of that. <laughs> All right, Robin, you are up. Okay, so uh, you know I'm kind of a fluffy girl, so I'm I'm working on that one inch at a time. So yeah, so that's that's my personal goal. Uh, so I'm and to drink more water, and to change up my exercise routines because I get really bored really quickly. So I'm trying to do like some hot hula. I'm trying to do like I don't know so stuff Zumba maybe I don't know. Just trying to change it up. You guys do it too because if you get bored then you stop doing it so yeah so that's my personal goal oh and i love this this is going to be my mantra right because i got some haters right oh. so i'm going to make it so that you know if they hate they're going to get to the point where i'm hustling so good they're going to be like hey rob are you hiring right girl yeah you so i'm going to be like really concentrating on my ebay business social media just gonna i'm just gonna hit it hard because you know, like Debbie, three times, I'm, I'm, I'm right there, Debbie. Like I really, I have a warehouse, literally, <laughs> storage unit that needs to be cleared out. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Beautiful. All right, Kim, you are up. Ooh. I am looking to expand more on Etsy. Yes. Um, I do Bonanza, Ooh. Poshmark. I'm kind of dabbling in a little bit, but I really like to. Um, start selling more on Etsy just because I have a lot of vintage pieces and handmade pieces. Oh, yeah. Because nice. Robin and I are crafters. <laughs> uh, crafters. Dragging drag my inventory. I think I said this once in, in the secret <laughs> beach where I was like, oh, inventory. I don't know what it is, but now that it's January, I'm starting fresh. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> fresh it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard. <laughs> All right, we're, gonna, we're gonna end on my two, <clears throat> and my personal goal is to pay attention and listen more. Yes. No way. <laughs> I, I had no. friends together today, and because of my miscommunication of both of them, it did not work out the way it was supposed to. <clears throat> and so, yeah, so, so yeah, whoops, my bad. So, uh, it, it you mean you're gonna my, pause? It, it happens with my wife, and it happens pause. with my admins. Yeah, so I'm going to work harder on paying attention more and listening more. And then, Wait. oddly enough, my professional goal <laughs> is Etsy because Wee! I have a lot of vintage stuff around here, too. And it's one of those things I just never get to. But I know if I do, I've got the products that will sell for more money on Etsy. Yep. So I'm definitely going to make sure. Like, I want, like, by, like, say, April 1st, I want 100 things in my Etsy store. That's my goal. 
good. Yeah, because Etsy is all about the numbers. I do know that much. Like yep. the more you have an Etsy, the more you get seen. So, yep. so that that's what I want to do. You should all have your goals. I don't care about, uh, oh shit, what the hell are they called? Uh, resolutions. Oh, no. Goals. <laughs> goals. More, more, more about goals and resolutions. Yeah. Resolutions yeah. never last. Because last night we were at Frankie's Tiki Bar and it was dead. And Mike was telling us. New Year's resolutions, people say, I'm not going to gamble as much and drink as much, mean the bar's dead for a couple of weeks. It was so quiet. <laughs> because we guess what? I'll, I'll fail in one more week and they'll be back to that normal. Weeks, yeah. So oh, yeah. I'm like, I won well, that. Those resolutions, I gambled and drank last night. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I want to thank everyone for tuning in. We had a great live audience tonight. Those of you who watch after the fact, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I want to thank all my co-hosts tonight. It was a ton of fun again. And I think we'll do yeah. this every like major holiday. I kind of like, yes. kind of like yes. this, it's fun. here. Absolutely. Uh, and what we should do is try and work it out so there's somebody different sitting here now every holiday. So oh, every holiday, yeah. Someone else is sitting next to me. So I think that'd be kind of fun. Uh, but I hope you guys learned a ton <laughs> tonight. Like, there's so much content tonight. Please share the link to this show on your wall if you have other friends that are eBayers and thrifters. And do me a favor, subscribe down below, give us a thumbs up. Because let's see how many haters we've had stop by tonight. No, we've had two haters stop None. by. None. So, but Aww, we'll we'll thumbs up haters. 41 thumbs up. So do us a favor. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. And it is 701. We're going to yeah. say adieu to everyone except for the Secret Beach Woo! members. Hop over to the next link. And you guys can ask us anything. So you got five good Woo! online sellers who have a variety <laughs> of uh, expertise. So for the next half hour, you can just quiz us about anything. So, thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Kim. And uh, we'll My see pleasure. you in 60 seconds on the new link. Bye, right. everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.